Hello everyone, as promised, uh, I'm coming to you with another edition of this neophyte wannabe attorney. Just a fool. This man is just as bad as a cheap watch. And I don't know if you ever had a cheap watch before. But if you ever get one, you're going to find that that watch stops every second. What am I saying? These attorneys are going to stop him every second. Because he's asking stupid questions. Don't know, don't have a clue what he's talking about. Let's jump into this. Now, this is Officer Moss. I believe his name is Christopher Moss. And so Daryl is going to be questioning him relative to his conversation with Lascano. Let's do, let's jump in. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly. All right, thank you. You're cross, Mr. Brooks. Uh, you stated that uh, you were flagged down by uh, a Hispanic male ran at you waving his hands. Would that be fair to say? That's correct. Do you recall his name? I do. And would you state it for the jury and for the record? His name is uh, Abel Lascano. And do you recall if uh, Mr. Lascano gave you any additional information during your traveling to where the vehicle was located? I don't understand your question. I don't either. You stated that uh, the Mr. Lascano got into your vehicle and you traveled to where the vehicle was located. Is that fair to say? That's correct. Did you learn any additional information from Mr. Lascano? How do you say Lascano? Lascano. Lascano. Did you learn during your travel to where the vehicle was located? Did you learn any additional information from Mr. Lascano? Not while we were traveling to the vehicle. So you traveled to the vehicle in complete silence? No, he was trying to direct me with the location of the uh, Red Fort Escape. Did he say he saw any anyone driving the vehicle now watch this now this is where he's going to mess up see one of the things that i know about see i know the law i'm around attorneys all the time what he's trying to do here is he's trying to ask questions about lascano to this officer but what he doesn't realize is that lascano's not there so basically whatever information that was reported in the police report um, of the statements of Lascano really would be hearsay because Lascano's not there and Daryl doesn't understand that. He's talking about what was reported in the police report relative to what Abel Lascano said, but he can't really question this officer about it because Lascano's not there. Otherwise, it's hearsay. And this is what Daryl seems to not get. This is where he's screwing up. Watch this. Objection hearsay. See? Exactly. Sustain. <laughs> hearsay. So all he told you was where the vehicle was. He hearsay. didn't tell you if he saw anyone driving up. Objection hearsay. Hearsay. Um, the witness may answer the question as long as it he does not answer with hearsay. Go yeah, but, but wait a minute. If he asked him a hearsay question, then how is he not going to answer in a hearsay way? Considering that Abel Lascano's not there, Judge Doro, come on. Listen, listen. Can you uh, restate your question, please? So all that the uh, Mr. Lascano already told you oh my God. was the location of the vehicle, not if he saw him driving? I object that question calls for hearsay response, Your Honor. Um, I, I would agree hearing that again. Exactly. Sustained. Exactly. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Did he, did he at all tell you that he saw someone in the vehicle? Hearsay. Objection. Hearsay. Wow. <laughs> sustained. Grounds for the sustain. Um, it's hearsay. You're asking hearsay questions, you dumb. Oh, my God. I can't say it because I don't want to lose my religion. <laughs> Lascano's not there. That's hearsay. You are dumb. <laughs> to ask him what Mr. Lascano told him would be hearsay. <laughs> He's so stupid, he don't even know. <laughs> so, all, so 
So all Mr. Lascano did was just direct you to the vehicle. That's correct. That's all you guys talked about during your... Ask and answer. Objection, ask and answer. Brown. <laughs> uh, sustained. It was asked, um, and I previously sustained the objection. You just ask him the same thing twice. Why would it not be asked and answered, you dummy? <laughs> Oh my God. And so, next question, please. I bet you every real attorney is sitting back just laughing, like, oh my God, like he is beyond stupid. <laughs> just as dumb as his hairline, or what's left of it. <laughs> when you were able to locate the vehicle, where did Mr. Lis look, look, Scott? <laughs> he can't even say it. Um, once the vehicle was located, I had Mr. Lascano stand by in my fleet until uh, other officers arrived to assist me, That's and then I transferred him over to someone else. Do you know if he made any report at that time? Define report. Did he make any report to law, law enforcement at that time? <laughs> I'm not sure if he did or not. I love that answer. I don't know. <laughs> But that ain't going nowhere. Do you recall Mr. Lascano uh, yelling that there were subjects standing outside of the building? Objection, Your you? Honor. That's I'm, I'm going to excuse the jury while I take up a legal issue. I'll rise for the jury, please. He doesn't, obviously, he doesn't understand what hearsay means. He he doesn't, clearly. Clearly. And I don't even know why, well, I, I've been saying this a lot as far as, Every time when the jury, no, excuse me, when the state objects and states the objection, he keeps saying grounds. They kept on saying it was hearsay. So what the hell is he talking about? So now the jury is going to be excused so they can kind of school him on what's going on. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He's stupid. He's a neophyte. He's a layman. <laughs> In other words, he has no clue. <laughs> Dumb. Complete stupidity. To the likes of which no one has ever seen. <laughs> they got to break this down to him. Because he doesn't know. And like I said before, that the judge is Thank not obligated. Here. The judge is not obligated to school him. What judge do you know schools an attorney? Mr. Brooks, before I have you question this witness any further, it sounds like to me that you are attempting to offer through this witness the statements made by Mr. Lascano. If that is what you are trying to do, you can't do that. Um, you may not do that. You will have to call Mr. Lascano as a witness if you so choose, if he's on your witness list. But that your questions are seeking to elicit hearsay, hearsay exactly. from this witness. <laughs> exactly. That's why I had the jury removed so we could, I could explain uh, my ruling. In other words, in, in, in other words, to school him. Because he's dumb, he chose to represent himself, which is actually absolutely dumb. And it's pro it's been proven right now. That's why the state kept on objecting. Hearsay, hearsay, hearsay. He doesn't understand what that means. So they had to school him in the absence of the jury. I would have did it right in front of the jury. <laughs> Just so they can they could know in addition how dumb he is. And why I'm going to direct. Notice I said in addition because they already know he's stupid. So let's exacerbate it. <laughs> With his neophyte self. Not to ask this witness questions about what Mr. Lascano may or may not have said. Exactly. I'm reading directly from the, his report. It doesn't matter that you're reading from his report. Lascano's not there. He has to be present. I said this earlier. That's just like, watch this. If somebody goes to the police station and makes a report on you, if they go to court and that person that made the report, if they're not there, 
then you can probably win the case because that's hearsay. They got to be present. They got to be in the court. So it doesn't matter that you reading from the report. Liscano has to be there. What do you not understand? Stupid. That would be double hearsay then. <laughs> Because it's 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 not mis you need Mr. Lascano here to it's say a, what he told this officer. I just said that if you are attempting to offer it for the truth of the matter asserted, which is what I believe you are doing, you're attempting to establish the veracity of something Mr. Lascano either said or didn't say through another witness. He's attempting to be an attorney in the absence of license. <laughs> that is hearsay. So it's not hearsay for the uh, the prosecutor to bring up. Stop trying to deflect. We're not going to talk about other rulings. There's been an objection by the state. Exactly. And I'm sustaining the objection. And I'm directing you not to ask this witness about questions that would call for this witness to say what Mr. Lascano said. That is hearsay. That is textbook hearsay. Textbook. Textbook. Then I don't think it's fair for the for me to object to hearsay from the uh, prosecution what, about, what does that have, along wait, the lines of the same type yeah, of thing. I'm not going to have a debate on what may have come in previously. Um, I know you... You, know the, you notice how he tries to deflect. That don't have nothing to do relative to the objection. That The state objected because he was asking hearsay questions. And so he's trying to flip it on something that's completely unrelated. Trying to go off topic. The judge just told you it's hearsay. You need Lascano there. I don't care what you reading from a report. He needs to be there. Why didn't you subpoena Lascano? See that that again, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's stupid. In a number of hearsay objections, many of which uh, the answers the that were being provided were not hearsay. Um, but. I would direct your attention to 908.01 of the Wisconsin statutes. You have that book in front of you that I provided to you a number of days ago. Now you see that? Now, what, again, what judge has to school a so-called attor an attorney? That's not supposed to happen. The attorney is, listen, any wise, any real attorney would know not to question Officer Moss about somebody that's not present in court. Any uh, any attorney would tell you that, that that's hearsay. But he too dumb to know it. At the beginning of this trial or near the look beginning at him, of look this at trial, there's the definitional section. Look at him shaking his head like he know what he's talking about. He is dumb. Of the statutes, which defines hearsay. Uh, it also, and then if you go on to 908. I know what hearsay is. No, you don't. You Obviously, you do not know what hearsay is, because if you knew what hearsay was, then you wouldn't be asking a whole line line of questioning concerning hearsay. If you knew what hearsay was, you would not be questioning Moss about somebody that's not even present. So clearly you don't. Do. Um, that's obviously one you may want to look at <laughs> as well. You see the way, wait, wait, you see the way he looked at the prosecution? Cause I think they probably laughed at him. <laughs> Let me rewind that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> because they know he's stupid. They going up against somebody dumb. Somebody stupid. This is why the attorney, attorney opera said this is open and shut. This is easy, easy. This ain't no real attorney. It's easy to beat somebody that's a neophyte. It's easy to beat somebody that knows nothing about the law. This is a walk in the park for them. I bet you they was glad when he decided to represent himself. Thank you. You're helping us. <laughs> You're the auxiliary to your own demise. It also, and then if you go on to Watch how 908. I know what you're saying. No, the hell you don't know what it is. Um, that's clearly one you may want Since to. you like to use the word clearly, clearly you don't. Look at him looking at the prosecution. Because he know they sitting over there just laughing at his dumb behind. <laughs> look at that look. Look at as well. 
Stupid. Um, and then 90803 has no, you don't know what it is. Unless you can give me an exception, sir, as to why this witness should be allowed to answer those Stupid. questions. I'm gonna again directly I'm not to directly ask directly from questions. his report. It doesn't matter that you're reading from his report. He's not there. He has to be present. I can't make an allegation on somebody and then not go to court. How is the prosecutor going to bring that to bear if I'm not there? It would be hearsay. What do you not understand? You think just because you're reading from his report that that's sufficient enough to not be hearsay? The report that he that he wrote. He's not that, there, Daryl. I'm reading directly from. His He's report. not there, Daryl. Change the fact that it's hearsay. You say what? That doesn't change the fact that it's hearsay. So that his report creates is another hearsay? level of hearsay. It's an out of court statement. No, him not being there would be hearsay. Oh my God, is he really this dumb? I know the prosecution is just sitting over there. Oh, this dummy. <laughs> This stupid neophyte <laughs> is going down in flames because of his own ignorance. <laughs> so Not this witness made, but what another witness made. So you have to... So I can't read from his report that he wrote. Oh my God. Um, you can't ask this witness questions that call for a hearsay answer unless there's no objection from the state. Well, or you, you can convince me there's an exception to the hearsay. Well, you know there's going to be an objection of the state. If he keep asking questions and, and, and Abel Lascano's not there, they're going to say objection hearsay. He can't get out of this. What do you mean, unless there's an objection for you? That, come on, that's textbook hearsay. Of course there's going to be an objection. Say rule that applies. Do you have an exception you'd like to offer to the court? So I might as well not read the report that he wrote then. Exactly. If I can't question him about the report that he wrote. That's your misunderstanding, Very sir, misunderstanding. what is hearsay. Um, and I, I, all I can tell you is I'm sustaining the objection. I'm going to bring the right. jury back out. He doesn't know um, what he's doing, clearly. We'll go from there. Clearly. All right. Madam Clerk, from the jury out, please. Clear bias. No, no, clear no, no, bias. no. It ain't clear bias. It's, cl it's clear stupidity on your end. It's clear a misunderstanding relative to what hearsay actually is. She just explained to you at length. And you still dumb and still can't catch what she's saying. And this is why I don't think he should have been allowed to represent himself because look, he's stupid. He still doesn't know what he's doing. Mr. Brooks, I understand you I may I disagree with the being called that name. But that's for the record, name? again, I'm here as a third party intervener on behalf of my client. Where, I don't the, know why that's not understood by now. Because it doesn't make sense. It's only one of you. That's why it's not understood. It doesn't make sense. You can clearly understand something that's, that doesn't make sense. But when the judge tries to explain to you what hearsay is, you can't catch that. You don't understand what makes sense. They're going to say something stupid, clear bias. No, it's clear stupidity on your end. Stupid dumbass. Dumb, I'm, ooh, Lord, Lord. Lord ooh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Look at this. So I guess I can't bring up the plaintiff either, huh? Well, that didn't work in the beginning. Attack it agreement. I don't know what the attack it agreement is. All right. See, he says something dumb again. What is attack and agreement? I don't even know what that word means. Look at him. Look at look at him. Look look look. Cause he know they laughing at it. <laughs> they know they got. It. He know they got it. <laughs> All you're doing is proving how stupid you really are, man. Dumb. You know you ain't no attorney. Why would you choose to represent yourself? Why did you do that? Why did you? 
choose to make a well I'm allowed to say it a, a ass is a donkey why did you choose to make an ass out of yourself thank you everyone please be seated <laughs> continue with your question sir I got a tree of lightning the jury will disregard that last comment yeah he's not oh, wow. because you're not testifying that stupid well. It's not your biased. opportunity to testify. You're just dumb. Given an opportunity should you choose later, sir, but please question the witness. Thank you. Everything. Question, question the witness. Stop making statements, dummy. So I'll do that. Well, get again, to it. The jury will disregard that statement. It's not evidence. He ain't got no evidence. He certainly got stupidity. And flesh and blood did not reveal that to me. Because I know that's right. <laughs> Go ahead. See, remember I told y'all before in the previous video, he did the study for this. He did not study. That's why he keeps looking down, trying to figure out where he's going. He has no clue what he is doing, and it's evident beyond measure. It's evident beyond measure how dumb he is. He's so dumb that the judge had to excuse the jury just so they can try to try to train him. Try to school him a little bit because he doesn't know the definition of hearsay. <laughs> you made reference to a hat being on the hood. Can you pull uh, Exhibit 99 up again? Are you asking the state to do that, sir? Yeah, can, can it please be pulled up? Sure, it can and it will. <laughs> what, you, what you got an attitude for? Because you're stupid. You should be mad at yourself. How dumb you are. With his little, little, with his little attitude. The jury can let me know when it's on the screens in the jury box, please. You should be mad at yourself. How stupid you are. How you going to get mad at them? You don't know what you're doing, clearly. All right. It's in the jury box. Continue, please. You testified to this being a hat, right? That's correct. And from this picture, can you tell what that is? Uh, not specifically. So how do we know if, if that's a hat from looking at this picture? Well, maybe, maybe when they went up to, maybe when he viewed the vehicle, he saw that it was a hat. What the heck? Oh my, what the you, Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Jesus. Uh, from looking at this picture, uh, it would be difficult to determine if that's actually a hat. You know what? You know what this? Excuse me, y'all. I don't mean to keep it. Listen. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Y'all remember when Detective Casey was on the stand and he had questioned Casey relative to the still photo. And then he tried to say, well, how do you know that that was me? You know, um, given that the back was turned. How can you tell that 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 would, would be Daryl Brooks? Well, what Daryl Brooks didn't know, because he didn't, like I said, he didn't go through those exhibits. He didn't go through that whole thing that was in there. And what happened? Well, Detective Casey saw the entire video. So that's just like the question here. He said, from looking at this photo, how do you know that it was a hat? Well, maybe when he searched the vehicle, he found that it was a hat. Well, you can't really tell from the photo right here. Well, let's check the vehicle to find out definitively what it is. It's a hat. So what are you proving asking him? How can he tell that it's a hat just from looking at the photo? Stupid. So it'd be fair to say you don't know what that is. Based on this picture, you're Based right. Based on this picture. Based on this picture, I'm not able to determine what that item is. Yeah, based on the picture. But what happened when he viewed the vehicle and found that it was a hat? What you gonna do with that? Would it be also fair to say we can't even determine if that's outside or inside of the vehicle at that point? I would disagree and say that is on the exterior of the vehicle. And how would you make that assumption if you can't tell what it is? Objection. Grounds. Sustained as to the form of the question. Exactly. Can you clear that? That was dumb. I think this is dumb as hell. <laughs> 
You can definitively say from this picture that you can tell it doesn't matter. where the item is based on this picture. It yes. Are you going off what you found or what you can see from the picture? I can see from this picture that that item is on the exterior of the vehicle between the hood that is destroyed and the windshield. This is so circular. So it's on the hood? It is between the hood and the windshield of the vehicle. And you can tell that from this picture. Objection as an answer. Thank you. Why do you, why do you keep asking him the same thing? He just told you that it was a hat. And why would it matter if he if he couldn't tell from that picture? If he viewed, just like Detective Casey, viewed the whole video, he found out it was you. Well, he viewed the vehicle and found out it was a hat. Where are you going with this? This to both crowds. Oh. Oh, my blood pressure's down. Let me calm down. Mm. I just don't like dumb people that think they smart. And from this picture, you can tell what this is. Yes. So just gonna, from the picture. So you're going to ask them again? Yes. You gonna ask How me? How do you come to that determination? Based on the fact that it's hanging on the exterior of the vehicle from the driver's side mirror, um, that it is in the shape of a headband and it is partially illuminated in this photograph with LED lighting. It, it, could, it, it could be fair to say that it's anything. Would you not say that that's fair? Just from looking at the picture, it doesn't... Oh my God necessarily say or it doesn't down, it's not down come on 100 percent identifiable <laughs> from this picture would, would that be fair to say no objection compound question very complicated Sustained us to the form of the question please rephrase <laughs> just from strictly looking at this picture oh my god how many times can you asked that? positively say what the item is objection. Okay. that's a mischaracterization of his testimony yes sustained exactly what is please he, rephrase what is he doing Clear, clear, clear photo. Uh-uh, don't you disrespect Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk to please clear, clear. Mr. Brooks, I'd ask that you show some deference to my exactly. clerk and not bark orders at her and use simple courtesy. Thank you. thank you. And thank you, Madam Clerk. Will I be awarded the same, Your Honor? For what? Why should we show you respect? You didn't show the family the victim's respect. I'm talking about can he be rewarded the same thing? You need to be rewarded prison, a cage. That's your reward. And that's the community's reward that you're put away. Please ask your next question, sir. Will I be awarded the same, Your Honor? Ask your, next, ask question. your next question. Uh, I, I will. Answer. I just want to know if I'll be awarded the same. I, I have been. The same. Thank you. Please continue. Let's go, stupid. Did you talk to anyone uh, who lived in the residence? I don't recall the specific persons I talked to or where they resided. So it's fair to say you talked to someone? There were multiple people outside of the residence and in the area at that time that I spoke briefly to. But you don't know if any of them was the renter or owner of the driveway? I do not recall. Do you recall asking anyone if the um, if the vehicle belonged to somebody who may have stayed in that general area? I do not recall asking that question to anyone. I love. I, you know what? Wait, wait. I like. I like that answer. I don't recall because it's it's circular. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. If he can't recall, he doesn't recall. Move on. You did state that you cleared the area. Would, would that be fair to say? No, I said I cleared the vehicle, not the area. Did you, did you clear the area? No. Uh, eventually, we did clear the back portion of the residence to ensure there were no suspects or victims. But that's who, not who is we? Persons of law enforcement. And did you wait until law enforcement came before you started to do that? Or did you start on your own kind of way? 
Upon arrival to the location of the suspect vehicle, I was by myself, so I initially cleared the vehicle to ensure that there were no potential threats to myself. When I advised dispatch that I had located the suspect vehicle, numerous officers came to assist me and were there relatively quickly to help me secure the area. I already know where Dow's, he's trying to build some type of foundation where to, to, to make it look like that when he cleared the vehicle, potentially something could have been planted. Maybe potentially that had, I don't know, let's, let's keep on watching. So would it be fair to say when you found the vehicle that you didn't locate anyone inside the vehicle? Correct, no one was located inside the vehicle at That's that time. That's because you had exited the vehicle. And you also stated that you cleared the vehicle for possible threats to yourself. If no one was in the vehicle, what did you need to clear the vehicle of what would be the threat? Based on, again, as I early, earlier stated, um, what had occurred in the downtown, plus the fact that Officer Skolan had fired rounds at this vehicle, I was unsure uh, who or what may be inside the vehicle. Uh, given the time of day as it was becoming dusk, it was getting harder to see outside. So to ensure my own safety, I cleared it the way I earlier stated. So would it be fair to say that, well, let me back up. You, you took this photo, correct? That is correct. So that would mean you were, at least by that time, sure that no one was in the vehicle would that be fair to say that is correct so did you clear the vehicle before taking the picture or afterward i cleared the vehicle before i took the photograph did you find any threats in there after i initially cleared it no it was deemed to not be a threat to my person that's because the threat had already exited the vehicle he was the threat he was a threat to this whole community and now that he's put away and locked up, he is no longer a threat. Thank God. For whoever called the police saying that there was a subject lurking around. And thank God for Daniel Ryder. Because as a result, he is no longer a threat. Hello, somebody. Come on with your dumb questions. Did you do any any other investigating after you had uh, took this photo? Can you rephrase the question? Did you do any other investigating after you took this photo? I uh, after the photographs were collected of the vehicle and placed from multiple angles, um, I did locate uh, identifying information inside the vehicle. What I'm asking is, so let me back up. So that was. You don't know what the you extent of your investigation was finding whatever you found in the vehicle at that point. Correct. Sure. Grounds. I'll withdraw. Thank you. You know what? Let me let me say this. A lot of times, you know what? I often say that I don't really know what his defense was, other than jury nullification, but. I think his defense was him trying to play victim. I really believe that's really what it is. Because every witness, even prior to every wit, even his own witnesses that he called, just like the Bobbez girl, what's her name, Bobbez? He tried to play victim. The whole nine, I think that was the, his, his defense. To try to take the focus off of him and put it on them that he was the victim in this that was his defense and i think he's doing the same thing with this officer right now that he's asking did you do any investigation i really think he's trying to make it trying to frame this officer of might might have planning something in that vehicle right never mind him killing all these people but maybe th this officer did something Put something in there to try to make it see. See, I really think that's what his this his defense is. His defense is trying to play victim. Correct. And it ain't gonna work. So 
So when you were clearing a vehicle, uh -huh. would it be fair to say that you could have did, done the, invest, the same investigational work at that time? No, that would not be fair to say. And why not? Because when you're clearing a vehicle to ensure that there are no threats to you, you're not looking for anything specific as far as evidentiary value. You're looking for a threat to your person. Exactly. So you would clear the vehicle of threats after being in the vehicle to do that and then go back into the vehicle and look for or start investigating rather. Correct. Well, obviously, Daryl's not a police officer. He doesn't know the protocol. <laughs> so this is strange to him because this is not his this is not his forte. He doesn't have a clue, just like he's not an attorney. Why do you think he kept asking all these hearsay questions? Why? Because he's not an attorney. He's a neophyte. Why not do them all at once? Is that Objection. a procedural Objection. thing or? Asked and answered, Your Honor. I object. Else? Sustained. Exactly. Next question. Asking him the same question. Is it usually procedure to investigate later on after clearing for threats? Yes, you always want to ensure that where you're working on an investigation is clear of threats and that you are safe. Would that be the same protocol if you were searching a, a, a home? Objection relevance. Grounds. Sustain. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Grounds for the sustain. Relevance. Relevance. She just said, the DA just said it, stupid. Are you just dumb? Well, you didn't hear out of that one ear. They mentioned that <laughs> the vehicle wasn't, I guess I would say, touched or uh, bet between the time that you were flagged down with the location of the vehicle until you actually observed the vehicle, you stated that you don't believe the vehicle was was touched in any way in that time? Objection, that's a misstatement of his character, <laughs> of his testimony. Grounds, he said something similar. Misstatement. Sustained uh, as to the form of the question. Are you sure that the vehicle was not touched in the time that you were flagged down about the location of the possible vehicle and observing the vehicle? I am unaware if the vehicle wasn't manipulated in any fashion from the time that Mr. Loscano flagged me down and to the time that I located the vehicle in the driveway. See, this goes back to what I'm saying. See, notice he said manipulated. So anything that is is manipulated means that something was tampered with. Some he's trying to make it seem like the officer might have done something to the vehicle to frame that it was a hat in there. See, my point again, his defense is trying to play victim like the police did something against him. No, 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 no. Let's not try to change the trajectory. Don't do that. Don't try to alter the landscape. Or what this case is about. It's about you. What the state has alleged concerning you. What you did. This officer is not on trial. Daryl. You are on trial. Let's refocus. Relative to what. Why we're even here. Do you know. And I really don't even know why we I don't even know why we're here anyway, given the fact that he doesn't dispute the charges. They should have went straight to sentencing. By way of his own admission, come on. You to get to the vehicle when you were initially flagged down about the location of the vehicle. I do not know how long it took me uh, to get to the vehicle upon being flagged down. So it's possible that it could have been manipulated. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, it's possible. But it wasn't. He can't prove that it was. Just because it's possible don't mean that it actually happened. There's a difference between definitive versus potentiality. <laughs> so this ain't going nowhere. This is circular. At the time that you uh, located the vehicle, 
Were you aware of uh, any suspect identification or name? Can you restate your question, please? At the time you located the vehicle, were you aware of any suspect or name of suspect? No, I was unaware of any names of any suspect involved in the incident at the time I located the vehicle. The only suspect was Dad. And when did you learn of that information, if you learned of that information? I only learned the information of a possible suspect upon locating the identifying documents inside the vehicle and subsequently providing that information to dispatch. At the time you found that information, did you immediately regard that information to be the possible suspect? Yes, since it was in the vehicle that was heavily damaged, the red Ford escape with the bullet hole in the windshield, yes, I believe that that information indeed belonged to a suspect. But he didn't know his name and he didn't know his... And at some point you ran a license plate number. Would that be fair to say? Correct, I did. And you also stated that it was registered to someone that was not the suspect. Would that be fair to say? It was your mother. Um, as far as I know at that, or I'm sorry, as far as I knew at that time, uh, I did not know if the person registered, uh, or registered the vehicle to. It was the suspect's mother, or should I say the subject's mother, because Daryl is the subject. <laughs> was a suspect or not. You also stated that you found identifying paperwork in your investigation of the vehicle. Did that information match the identity of who the vehicle was registered to? No, the uh, identifying information, again, for Mr. Brooks that was inside the vehicle did not match the uh, registration on file with the Wisconsin Department of Transportation for the registration of the vehicle, which was Don L. Woods. That was his mother. Uh, for the record, I don't identify... Shut up, that's your name. Yet again, stay net. Um, for the record. Disregard you. Um, for the record, the jury will disregard that commentary exactly. by He's the defendant, perfect. and it also mischaracterizes <laughs> the witness's testimony. It does not. I was just stating for the record. Again, the jury will disregard. Disregard. <laughs> again. <that> so, commentary <laughs> as Mr. Brooks is not presently testifying. The information you found in the car. Daryl, where are you going with this? This is not working. The vehicle was not registered to that person. It, did, it didn't matter that it wasn't registered to the subject. It was it was your mom's vehicle that you were driving. Okay. So where are you going with this? Correct. So there's a possibility that at any time multiple people can utilize that vehicle would that be fair to say but it was yes. you grounds uh, calls for speculation sustained <laughs> so that was a dumb question when he said Baltimore. see it's like it's like he's trying to trip him up but he's asking dumb questions in the process hey, that was speculative and why would it be multiple people when his with his when his identity was found do you agree that his id was found Oh, and lo and behold, he happened to be related to the person that owns the vehicle. Wow, what a coincidence. The vehicle registered to one person and information found by another person constitutes that more than one person used the vehicle. Speculation. Objection. Grounds. Uh, go ahead, you the, the, the question was... Does that prove that more than one person could drive the car? That's an improper question. That wasn't the question. That well, was the question. Well, sustained as to the form of the question and assumes facts, not in evidence. Exactly. <laughs> so that shuts that Say down. Say that last part again. Assumes facts. It not assumes evidence. facts, not in evidence. Your question. That means you ain't going nowhere with your this. Next question, please. Is it fair to say that people leave all types of information in, in family members' vehicles at any time? Speculation. Objection. Grounds. Irrelevant. Speculation. <laughs> sustained. He's Grounds was sustained. 
Speculation. It's speculation. Can I have the grounds, please? They gave you the ground. The objection has been sustained. Ask your next question, please. May I have the grounds? They gave you the ground, stupid. The court's not answering that. The record is self-evident. Is that a tacit agreement? Here's what I found. What the hell is a tacit agreement? Oh, sir, I don't know what a tacit agreement is. Exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> no, she don't. Um, Cause that's not how you pronounce it, stupid. <laughs> he is stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. No, just give it up, man. It's over. The fat lady is sad. <laughs> it's over. It's a wrap. <laughs> you are on a bridge to nowhere. Well, accept the dodge. That's what you will. Would it be fair to say? <laughs> and this is along the lines of the same question. Would it be fair to say that at some point you've left items in other people's vehicles? Objection. Grounds. Relevance. Sustained. <laughs> Grounds are sustained. Next Relevant. question, please, sir. I've sustained this question multiple right. times, multiple ways you've asked it. Question. Next question, please. May I have the grounds? 90611, sir. <laughs> Next question, please. Is it to relevancy? Is it to history? Shut up, it's relevancy. Ask your next question or I will cut off your cross-examination. Cut it off. Ask your next question, sir. You have to give the grounds, though, Your Honor. She already gave the grounds. Stu Are you retarded? She just said it was, re the DA said relevancy. I know you got one ear. But damn. Especially if I'm really just asking. Shut the up. They already said the ground. Sir, ask your next question. Stupid. What's the point of me asking questions if I can't ask anything? Yeah, what is it? Watch this. Yeah, you're right. What is the point of asking dumb questions? That's why I need that's why I said you need to give it up. Stop. Just stop completely. Just say, look, I killed these people. I need to go to jail. That's what you should be saying. I will disregard his commentary that he just stated right now. Stupid. Ain't nothing but a waste of the court's time. And a waste of money. See? Only in America you can do dumb stuff like this. You need to change the laws. Don't make no sense. Sit all he don't make it a mockery. Do you recall speaking to uh well you, you said you spoke to a few people you didn't know if they were the owner of the house or the driveway or the renter. Would that be fair to say? Yes, that's correct. Did anyone you spoke to give you a description of a possible driver? I was given multiple descriptions by multiple parties. Um, of multiple suspects that had fled the vicinity of the vehicle. The point was there was no multiple driver. It was only one person in that vehicle, and that was Daryl Edward Brooks, 1982. February, I don't know his birthday. I know it was in February. There was only one person driving that vehicle. They have video evidence of him in the vehicle. So, I mean, this is so circular and you know what i doubt when this when the, when he gets finished with the questioning i doubt that the state is going to do any type of redirect because they don't need to you know why because this whole line of questioning went absolutely nowhere it wasn't necessary to do any cross because he was the auxiliary to his own detriment he helped he helped the state they didn't need to do any cross he cut his own throat. Literally, he cut his own throat. Figuratively and literally. And what do you mean by multiple descriptions about, of multiple suspects? Two, three, four people, five? It don't matter with you. I was given information that uh, one male black suspect that was taller, wearing um, blue pants and black 
had run southbound on Maple towards college. Additionally, I was given information that two to shorter male blacks wearing gray sweatpants had run in a westerly direction from behind the residence at 338 Maple. And then later, I was also given a, another description of a male black, um, unknown height, wearing uh, like a gray sweatshirt and pants. You said medium height for the last description? Unknown height. I know. Okay, I'm sorry. Unknown height. Did, did anyone you talked to report uh, the sound of a crash? No, no one I spoke to uh, at this location reported anything regarding the sound of a crash. Did you see any signs that there may have been a crash when you, once you and other officers were sec securing the area? Uh, as far as the vicinity around the vehicle or the vehicle itself? The, the general area. As far as the general area, given the time of day, I was unable to determine if there was any signs of a crash in that vicinity. <sighs> this ain't going nowhere. See, it's like when talking to the uh, people that you, uh, while talking to the people that gave you the descriptions, um, did they identify themselves as living close to, or living in any of the houses in that area? No, due to the chaotic nature of the event, uh, I did not ascertain where these individuals lived or if they were associated with any neighboring residents. Do you know if they made in, uh, any other statements to any other law, law enforcement that was there present with you at that time? Not to my knowledge. I'm just trying to figure out where is he going with this? Why do you think you, you uh, received so many different descriptions of suspects? Uh, multiple people from multiple angles observed different things. And there was a lot of people there. It was a very chaotic event. Um, even this particular scene was chaotic and hectic with numerous people coming to and from. So it was difficult to determine All right. um, that information. All right. So this is, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here. But I, I just want to say this. I wanna, let me reiterate this. Just because people said it was, it was multiple suspects, it doesn't matter because it was narrowed down to one person that was in that vehicle. According to those exhibits, the state already showed the jury the exhibit of Dow in the vehicle. So I don't know if his defense is trying to say, well, could have been somebody. Well, how? <laughs> when it when the video shows that it was you. So how is this advancing? How is it? It's not. It's not. Uh, so I, I just yeah, I just wanted really to display how further dumb he is. He started off asking Moss all these just hearsay questions. He didn't even know what hearsay was. You know, and it was, I think, and the, the reason why the judge dismissed, well, not dismissed, but excused the jury was really for his own protection. Just to hide, just to, just to really camouflage how dumb he was because he didn't know what hearsay was. No different. Y'all remember when Daryl uh, he wanted to he wanted to know why there couldn't be uh, visibility in terms of his custodial status in front of the jury. Well, what he didn't know that was to his benefit. That was to his benefit. And so the same applies here. She excused the jury. That was to his benefit. So the jury wouldn't further understand how dumb he was. They had to remove the jury so they can school him on what hearsay was. <laughs> and he's still fighting with the judge. <laughs> Tell about, well, I'm reading from his report and he's so dumb that he don't know that Lascano has to be present. You can't just say what he said and the man ain't even there. <laughs> so I just wanted to point out how dumb he really is. I didn't real I didn't I didn't realize he was this stupid. That, oh. He was so stupid that it was embarrassing. 
It was embarrassing. That's why the jury had to be excused. <laughs> All right. Listen, y'all leave your comment on this one. I thought this one was very interesting because it's like he he was asking questions as if, you know, like he's this this attorney. He knows what he's doing. And it's the complete opposite. He doesn't have a clue. Doesn't have a clue. And made himself look like a fool. A fool. A fool. All right. Y'all leave your comments on. I know this one was pretty long. Y'all leave your comments and y'all share like. Thank you for watching.